You've probably seen tons of people saying they've gotten free 3D printers and filament from Bamboo Labs Maker World. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today. The first thing you need to understand is Maker World has a point system. So if you come over to top right and click points, you can see that they I have 21 points right now. How points work is you get points by doing one of these six things. What you do with your points is after you've gotten them, you can come down here to the points shop. The main one you're going to focus on is the gift card for $40. This is uh, for the Bamboo Lab store, so this can be used for absolutely anything in the Bamboo Lab shop. How you can get points is creating models with Maker Lab. Um, posting high quality models, we'll get into that later. You can post print profiles. You can uh, complete personal profiles, which is just like updating your data. You can upload models and you can rate print profiles. The first one I'm going to focus on is uploading print profiles. You've probably seen models like this, where it looks like they just added legs to an obviously already made 3D model. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today, as it's really easy and it's a good way to get points. All you want to do is click the first link in the description, it should bring you here. You want to click this green arrow right here, and it should drop down. You want to press download STL and CAD files. After that, you're going to want to download the leg. You're going to want to download the right and the left hand, okay? Then you're going to find any model that's not already taken. Let's say I wanted to do an alien. So I'll click on this alien and I'll download his files. We're going to go to this place called Tinkercad. So just go to a browser and search Tinkercad. And then click on this link. It should bring you here. What you want to do is you want to press create. And you want to press 3D design. And after that, all you want to do is press import. And then drag your legs into here. After that, you want to press import, and you want to drag your um, model that you chose into here. So, okay, so you have your legs in here, and you have your object in here. What you want to do is you want to click on the leg, and you want to hold shift and size it down to whatever size you want, just like that. And then you want to drag it onto your person, just like that. So I'm going to make mine a little smaller. And then all you want to do once you have it in there is you want to press control copy and then control paste, which is V. Control C and then control V. And you want to drag it to the same spot as the other one. Now after you have gotten your creature, you want to press export and you want to press STL. You want to go to your downloads, and it should be here. It should be named something. Just name whatever you want it. Uh, alien with legs. Uh, you want to go to create new project, and then all you want to do is drag it in here, and you should see a creature. All you have to do from here is press the scale button, and you want to size it up to however big you want it. You can color it with your color tool right here. Now what you're going to do is you want to slice it and you want to print it. After you printed it, all you want to do is go to file and then you want to go export and you want to click export as generic 3MF. You want to save it. Next thing you want to do is come to Maker World and you want to click upload. You're going to click original. Then you're going to go yes. And you're going to drag your 3MF file you just got from Mimu Studio into here. Just like that. Okay, now that it's in here, you can press next step. If you want to drag your just normal STL, you can, but I, I'm not going to for this one. Next, you're going to drag your pictures that you have of your model into here. Okay, so I'm going to crop it down to how I want it. submit and then you want to add all of your photos you have of your model so you just want to drag all of your photos into there there you go perfect so now you want to name it what you would like to name it so i you i'm going to name mine for the category i will click on it and i will usually go down to decor under household then you're gonna use tags. So I'm gonna I'm gonna type in a bunch of tags. Uh, just do kind of related to your um, whatever you made, and you're gonna type in a bunch of those. So I 
Okay, so once you have all the tags you want, now you're gonna just scroll down. Now you're gonna do, uh, I'm gonna just gonna say. Okay, so just type in whatever you want. Just type in something like that. Next, you're gonna go to, you're gonna press add a print profile. And then this one's pretty simple. You just want to make sure you have a picture as a cover and you want to press this print past my princess because you have already printed it. You know, press publish and your model is published. Now what happens is people will boost your model, which gives you points, and people will download your model if you made a good model. Another way you can get points is by uploading high quality print profiles. So basically, you can go on any of these 3D models. What you're going to do is you're going to go to filters and you are going to go to no print profile press confirm and what you're gonna do is you're gonna simply go to one of these see it doesn't have a print profile you can press download files and you're gonna simply add a print profile after you've printed it same thing you did on the other one you export as a 3mf I wish you good luck and I hope you're able to get whatever printer here you're wanting